you don't know what love is. <laughs> Godmother, this isn't you. Hey guys, welcome back to the Day Daily. So today I am Aurora. And I am Maleficent from Maleficent 2. If you guys want to see how to turn into a Maleficent and Aurora, just keep on watching. Woo, 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 woo. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. I'm removing my makeup so that I can have a very light base. I am putting on some primer. I'm gonna start off with priming my face as well. She's priming her whole face. I'm just priming my like T part because that's all you need to do. They call it the T zone because it yeah. makes a T through your face. So now we're gonna do some foundation. I'm doing a very light foundation and I'm gonna mix it with some light cream paint. So I'm just taking some of the white and some of the light foundation, mixing it together in the back of my hand. Guys, don't you think I look like a totally different person with my blue contacts in? When I'm looking in there, I look so weird. We did our base and our powder. Now we're ready to move on. I am gonna work on my cheekbones, my Maleficent cheekbones. I'm gonna be using a color, it's like silverish rose gold. First, I'm actually gonna put some lid primer on just to make it so that it applies better. And I'm using a cool tone brown to sculpt out my cheeks. Make sure you do a fish face. We wanna make this a very high line, so I'm putting it like right on the top of my cheekbone. I'm first going to do kind of like a whitish pinkish base and then we'll move up. I'm just kind of putting this all over my eye. And how I want this cheekbone is I want there to be kind of an L right here. I think Maleficent would be a really cool person to be for Halloween. And then I'm just kind of contouring all around my face. Some of this will be covered by my headpiece though. So now I'm gonna do it under my jawline too. So then to really shape out those cheekbones, we're gonna add a little bit of the white right back into here. Now I'm just gonna add the same color of eyeshadow on my eye. Now I'm just darkening my eyebrow. And I'm really gonna focus the brown color on this outer corner, cause it's kind of like a cat eye. I kind of already have a little bit of a winged eyeliner on, so I'm just gonna follow that as well. Also take that underneath the eye. Now I'm gonna add an even darker color on just this outer edge. I'm gonna do some, does she have eyeliner? Now I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush and just blend out all the edges. See, like you can barely see the wing. bit of black eyeliner in my waterline. And I'm gonna elongate the black just a little bit with the that. With this. When day is done with that. that. Then 
I'm just going to do my eyebrows. Her eyebrows are a little bit thinner than mine, but we're just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna make mine a little bit more pointed right here. a little bit boxy. So now I'm going to elongate the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm doing some mascara. thing I'm doing. You're wrong. Wrongo. I'm doing actually it's kind of a special feature even though Aurora doesn't have this I thought it'd be cute to do like a little rose on the cheek. I am going to add my red lips. I'm gonna add a little bit of white highlighter to my cheekbones. So I just kind of got like a bunch of different pinks. I'm for sure gonna use this one. For a second, it just looks like red and then like pink. And then there's kind of a gloss. I'm just putting a little bit of that on so it's not so, so pink. Now I'm gonna add a red liquid lipstick. Now it's a really cute pink. So it's like darker and then lighter. The last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop on some lashes. So what I wanna do first is I wanna kinda just do like white on my cheek first. And then I'm gonna draw the rose kind of in it so it kinda looks like a white petal. So now I'm just taking kind of a sponge and just kinda first putting white base. I'm popping on some lashes. These are just a little bit longer on the outer edge to again kind of give us that cat eye look. Okay, I'm gonna start with the outline and it. My outline is gonna be black. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a little mascara. want it to be like kind of dotted out here so it makes it look kind of hey guys I think my Maleficent look is pretty much done a little bit more white to my neck again because I feel like my neck looks darker than my face and we can't be having that white. Now I'm going to fill some of the petals in with this light pink. Now I'm going to use another one. Just kind of make it your own design. Now I've got to go get my headpiece on. We're gonna finish Daya's hair, 
get her her princess crown. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Here's the final look, guys. What if I want to marry the prince? You will never marry the prince, Aurora. But I love him. You don't know what love is. <laughs> Godmother, this isn't you. I know you're good. Aurora is mine. My final Aurora look. And here is Maleficent. I'm so glad you guys voted for this princess look because it was so fun to do and I like doing videos with my mom. We each have a lot of fun making them. We definitely do. And you are getting so good at makeup. I mean look at that flower you guys. And that's the awesome part about makeup is that you get to create whatever you want. Can't wait to see what we do next. Make sure you subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.